Okay, we're now live, Hi. talking about um, vellum. Yes, we're going to talk about vellum once we get some people on here. We're doing a little pop-up demonstration on vellum today. And we are going to wait just a little bit to get some people on here. My name is Gary, I'm with Glass Crafters, and we're going to do a little uh, demonstration about vellum. Some people I know they use um, to create their patterns for their stained glass pieces, they'll use uh, a manila folder you know, and cut the patterns out of that. Some people will use a light box and just put their pattern on top of the light box with their glass on top of the light, on top of the pattern. We cut it up that way. I was taught with vellum, and so I'm going to be talking about vellum today. How many people we got? 24 people are watching 24 you, Gary. 24 people are watching this. They're interested in vellum. So, um, vellum makes stained glass so much easier, as far as I'm concerned. Now, I grew up on vellum. I was taught with vellum initially, and uh, I, today, I'd like to spread the joy about vellum. Now, why is vellum important, and why do I like it? Vellum is a drafting paper, pretty much. You can see right through it. If, you, if uh, I lay this right on top of the pattern here, my vellum, I can see right through it. Vellum also has a high plastic content, so that when you, when you cut out your patterns from vellum, glue them to your glass, take them to the grinder, the paper will not disintegrate. Uh, manila, uh, cardboard, regular old paper, it'll disintegrate as you're trying to get down to your pattern line. Vellum won't. So how, how do I use it? Um, I'm just going to do a rough demonstration. You can trace right on top of the vellum. And I'm just gonna do this star portion here. I'm not gonna do the tail. So, so there's my there's my star with a little fleur through it. This is one, two, three pieces. This is gonna be what do I have over here that's easy? Um, I'm, I'm just going to use plain glass. Um, so I'll just put P for plain glass. And then with my pattern shears, and pattern shears are very important. A lot of people don't use pattern shears. I do. There's pattern shears for lead. There's pattern shears for copper foil. For copper foil, what the pattern shears do is cuts out a little channel, and that channel is where your foil is going to go on the edge of your glass. So you have two, two, uh, two pieces of glass, edge and foil. That's the space for the foil. So that's why it's important so that your project doesn't grow. If you just cut it out with regular scissors, you're not allowing for that space. And it'll just grow. And you won't know what to do. Okay, so for this little project, it's not really important on those outside edges, but to separate the three pieces through the middle okay. is where that exact little cutout, making room for the copper foil to have some place to occupy. While I'm cutting this out, do I have any questions? I will entertain any questions you may have. You now have 56 people watching you cut out pattern paper, vellum pattern paper. So again, just to, just to reiterate what I'm doing, I grew up using vellum for all of my, uh, for all my uh, patterns, for cutting out my patterns and cutting my glass. Vellum is, um, it's good and thin. It has a high plastic content, so it doesn't disintegrate when you take it over to the grinder 
and you can see right through it. So it's not water soluble. Yeah. It's water, water resistant. resistant. Mm -hmm. So there I have, I need to get some glass, I'll be right back. Uh, I can sing and dance, but they can't see me. Let's look at what you're working on. Oh, you got a copper foil repair here on the table. I can see there were a couple of damaged pieces that you've removed. Looks like, like a stack of pattern pieces that are prepared to be cut out. Some have been cut, some need to be cut yet to go into that repair. We buy vellum from a large print supply company, so we have it here at Glass Crafters in sheets, um, like 20 inch by 30 inch rectangular sheets that we can roll up and ship in a tube. And they are $3.99. Oh, there you go. 23 by 35 for $3.99. So here I am. I have my three pieces of my uh, piece. Uh, my pattern piece was cut out. I'm going to use a glue stick. I prefer Elmer's, but any glue stick will do. I do a good coating, a very heavy coating of glue around the edge of my piece. If I have a large piece, like I was cutting, I was going to be cutting this out later. This is a piece that I'm going to be cutting out for my repair here. All I'll do is I'll just glue the edges because I don't want to glue the entire middle because if something happens and this breaks um, and I have to unglue the whole thing, that's going to be really difficult. So if I just glue the edges, and that's really all you need to do, then it's much easier to get up if you have to. So good heavy dose of glue. Paste it. to your glass, then you know exactly where you need to cut. And you, you know exactly where to cut because your cutter has a little divot right there on it to tell you exactly where your wheel is. So all you need to do is line up that divot with the edge of your pattern and cut. So that's my cut. I can now take that over to my grinder. Grinder is dry as a bone. And now I can get in there. And grind down right to my pattern paper, my vellum. Oh, gotcha. So your pattern line doesn't wash away. And so it hasn't disintegrated. Oh, and the paper didn't fall apart. So you do want to work relatively quickly. I have a rule that when I take a piece of glass over to the grinder to grind, I'm going to get it done in 30 seconds. That doesn't, that means that I'm not going to be like gently jabbing at it. I'm going to, you know, push it into the uh, glass bit, the grinding bit, and get it done. Because, uh, you don't want that glue to loosen and that piece to start lifting and moving around, then you don't know where to grind. So, Because your glue stick is water soluble, so the pattern is gonna come off again. You right. can peel it off when you're done? You can, so what I do when I'm finished with this, I'm gonna soak it in a little tub of water for, you know, three, four, five minutes, and then lift it up. Now it's 
I just put it on here so I can lift it up. And then I'm gonna have a perfect, my piece is gonna be perfect. It's gonna fit my pattern perfectly because that's exactly the size of the pattern piece and the size that I cut out for my project. And then you're saving those vellum pattern pieces? You can, you can use them, you can use them again. I always uh, store mine on a paper towel. Then when I'm finished with the project, I'll roll the paper towel up, put the name of the project on it and put it away. So if I need it, I can get it out and do it again. At least, yeah, if something goes wrong, you end up cutting a piece of glass upside down or the wrong color glass and you want to replace it, you still have the pattern. Or, you know, you, I, my general rule is I hold all of my pattern pieces until the project is out the door with the customer or sold or whatever. And then if I don't want it anymore, I'll throw it out. Yeah. Terrific. So any questions about vellum? I love it. It's made a big difference to a lot of people that I've introduced it to. Um, if you are having problems, you know, if you're spending a lot of time at the grinder, vellum might be your friend. Okay, thanks everybody. Okay, thank you. Have a good weekend.